Hey everyone, welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. In the previous video, I talked about scientific notation and how to hard code those values. But this video, I wanted to talk about how do we get these values from the user and how do we output in scientific notation. Essentially, I want to explore some of the different ways we can format our data. So, to begin, there are some format characters, also known as conversion characters, that we need to learn. So, for example, this percent %i is one conversion character, but there are many more that we can use. So let's learn those first. Let's go down here and make a list. The first one, which we've already learned about, is percent %f, and this is for decimal notation. Decimal notation is like this, nothing fancy about it. The next one you're going to want to know is percent %e. This is used for scientific notation. Lastly, we have percent %g. And this one allows the computer to decide. How does it decide though? Well, it depends on the size of the exponent. If the exponent is less than negative four, it will put it in scientific notation. Or if the exponent is greater than five. Otherwise, it will use decimal notation. To learn these, let's take our number up here and output it using all three of the conversion characters. So let's go up here to our printf statement, and you can see here we are using the i for integers, but let's convert that to a double. And now let's output this as f, e, and percent %g. It's kind of confusing looking, but essentially we're putting the f on one line, the e on the next line, and then the g on the last line. And we are going to need to throw in this dogs three times. Now let's run this. All right, now you can see what our output looks like. Speaking of dogs, mine is being very obnoxious. <laughs> the first one is decimal notation. The second one is exponential notation. And then the third one, the computer decides and it says, hey, I think it would look better without the exponent. If this exponent was a six, this would output a little bit differently. Let's show that. Let's change this to a six. And there you go. Now you can see it's using scientific notation. Now the plus here, that's kind of redundant. It's kind of like putting a plus before a number in math. If you don't put it there, it's just assumed. Negatives, on the other hand, are required. Now let's talk about taking input. Let's go back to our code. Let's get rid of this outdated comment. <laughs> and we'll add a prompt here. We will declare the dogs variable, but we're not going to initialize it. We are going to get the value from a scan f. Now, scanning in floating point values is a little bit different. We actually need to use percent %lf. That is how we scan in a double. The variable we want to store that value in is dogs. Now, the good part is that this format character can actually be used to read scientific notation and decimal notation. So we don't have to memorize all the different options of lf, le, and lg. We can just use lf for everything. Let's give this a try and see if it works as we expect it to. Let's save, compile, and run. How many dogs do you have? I would say I have about 65,300 dogs. The output seems to be correct. Let's try again. Yep, seems to be working. And now let's try to give an input in scientific notation. So you can see in this situation, even though we gave our number in scientific notation, it can still be outputted in all three different ways. That goes to show that the LF conversion character can be used for both scientific and decimal notation. One thing you gotta pay special attention to is that for scan F, you have to use the L when we have a double. For print F, you just use F by itself, you don't need the L. And the reason behind that is kinda confusing and gets into a lot of advanced details. But essentially, as I mentioned before, if we pass in a float to the printf function, it gets promoted to a double. But scanf, on the other hand, works a little bit differently because we are using this address of operator. The data type of dogs does not get changed if it were to be a float. And because of that, we have to have two conversion characters, one for double and one for float. And if that doesn't make perfect sense, don't worry about it. <laughs> By the end of the series, I'm sure you will understand that. So thanks guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to click subscribe, like, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.